It's one of the busiest shopping seasons of the year. But all these pretty things may have an ugly side. One of the issues with shopping is that it's inherently pleasurable for most of us. And that's normal and healthy. Most of us feel good. How many people have used the term retail therapy? The problem is when you're doing it excessively, that you begin to develop more and more buyer's remorse. It's estimated that about 6% of Americans are compulsive shoppers, a diagnosis that is based on the following characteristics. When spending habits lead to debts that can't be repaid, when shopping becomes more important than other things, when shopping isn't based on necessity, and when a loved one says it's a problem. So knowing that about yourself in advance, if you feel you're someone prone to this, is an important thing. Setting limits, it, making sure that you only go shopping with a list and say that you're going to stick to the list. Another technique that some people find useful is buying only with cash. Dr. Richter also advises that you address underlying reasons for your stress, which can lead to less control over spending urges. So try to get enough sleep, exercise more, and take time to see good friends. In other words, replace bad habits with good ones. One of the key brain transmitters, dopamine, is a very important substance when it comes to our reward systems in the brain. And so it may be that for whatever reason, people who are more prone to this behavior, there's more release of the, the pleasure transmitter associated with it. Some people may benefit from seeing a psychologist or psychiatrist who has experience dealing with this problem. In severe cases, medications are available. So as you brave the mall this holiday season and all year long, remember that you can't buy good mental health in any store. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.